Hi guys, it's reaction time. Before we get onto the reaction, a huge thank you to Witherfall. They sent me this amazing t-shirt. Man, Sounds of the Forgotten. This is the album that's coming out on May the 31st. I can't wait for that album. Um, they also sent me a hoodie for The Curse of Autumn, which was their last amazing album. I can't wait for the album to come out. Check out the singles. There's three of them so far, I think, on YouTube. Reacted to two of them. I missed one of them for some reason. But man, they are an amazing band. Please check them out. With a full, thank you very much. Okay. Talk about you know, legendary bands. Let's, let's talk about that. Blue Oyster Cult. So, I mean, man, they've been going since late 60s. I think they have, or it might be early 70s. Massive band, obviously. This is one of them ones I've got to really worry about. And I, you know, because I haven't really heard a lot of Blue Oyster Cult. And you're probably going to say, what the f are you talking about, Lee? You, why haven't you heard a lot of Blue Oyster Cult? Because I haven't. <laughs> you know, I'm sure... We all go in directions, don't we, of music, you know? And when I was growing up in the 80s, I was into, like, the L.A. scene. You know, I was totally hooked on that. Um, the early 80s, it was all about British metal. It was all about Maiden and Saxon and, and bands like that. Um, and then through the 80s, like I said, I got hooked on the L.A. glam scene. And then I don't want to talk about what happened in the 90s. <laughs> But I was one of those ones that veered towards stuff that was popular. Sorry to say. I've gone back, though. Class matters in the end, doesn't it? And, you know, what what is about now, a lot of the stuff I cover has that, you know, melodic rock AOR side for sure. But Blue Oyster Cult have never really, I've never really come across them much, apart from, you know, obviously, I love, and I know this is probably sacrilege, because you're going to say, I know what you're going to say, but... I think Don't Fear the Reaper, I'm sorry, is one of the best songs I've ever heard. I absolutely love that song. And even if it's because of that song, I should have delved deeper into Blue Oyster Cult. I know that. My mate Mark Clower is a Blue Oyster Cult fan, a big Blue Oyster Cult fan. And even he says, you know, there's this stuff that he loves and then there's stuff he doesn't love. And when you when you haven't touched upon a band for so long, you know, who have been going that many years and got that many albums, it's hard to, especially with all the new music coming out, you tell me to go back. I don't think that's possible. There's too much music now going forward. So I, I definitely want to give Blue Oyster Cult a go now. They totally deserve it. One of the biggest names in rock and metal, for sure. So um, looking forward to the new song. Or am I? <laughs> because what I don't want to do, I, I hate being negative on this, on this um, channel. But I am very honest. So sometimes you won't, on smaller bands, you won't see an upload because I think if I don't like the song, I won't upload it. It's not fair on smaller bands, for sure. Um, this ain't a small band, for sure. It doesn't matter what I say about this band whatsoever, so I'll be totally brutally honest. Hopefully, I'll love it. I'm, I'm going to go forward with Blue Oyster Cult rather than go back. So that's the best way to be in it. So uh, Blue Oyster Cult, so supernatural. I can't wait to hear this. Here we go. Ralph, by the way, asked me to do this one. Um, he sent me it a couple of days ago. Um, he said, give it a go. I said, well, I've never really you know, explained sort of the story that I've just told you now. I've never really delved much into Blue Oyster Cult, but it's never too late. This is so supernatural. Here we go.
Oh. This is where I feel bad. It just doesn't do anything for me. And that's probably terrible, isn't it? And I really do apologise. It's only a it's only my opinion, and like I said, that don't fucking really matter, does it anyway? But not doing anything for me whatsoever. I quite like the video because of the horror elements. I'm a big horror fan. But it doesn't just doesn't do anything for me. In fact, <laughs> brings me down a little bit. It's a little bit. It's just not got anything in it whatsoever. No energy. And I'm not. Listen, we just hook on to certain bands, don't we? There's some bands I like that others go, what the fuck are you talking about? And that's all cool because it it's all subjective. We like what we like. And, and I think that Blue Oyster Cult, from what I hear, and talking to Mark Clower talking about it, they write so much different stuff is that I could love one song and just hate another. You know, it's just one of those bands. They really mix it up, apparently, you know. But I don't know because I've never followed them you know perhaps if i'd followed them and got hooked onto their early music you sort of when you have history with a band that also means something doesn't it so you know what they're going for at certain points in their career or something like that but as a song right now don't like it whatsoever um vocally just doing nothing for me i'm not expecting these guys to you know sing like a you know it just it fits the music I suppose you could say, you know, that, that sort of element of music they're going for. It sounds very sort of, to me, it sounds very 60s to me. It, that's how it sounds, you know, to my ears. So the music, you know, it, it sort of, the vocals fit the music, but I just don't like anything about it. Oh God, I feel terrible for saying that. But like I said, Blue Oyster Cult are a big deal. So it doesn't really matter what I say. Nothing's going to change in the world of fans and the band if I say I don't like the song. But I've got to be honest, I just don't like it. It just doesn't do anything for me whatsoever at this stage. I will listen to the rest of it, but man, I'm not I'm not into this whatsoever. Ralph actually said to me it, it grew on him, I think he said, but phew, I don't know. You, even with growing songs, I can sort of tell I like it from the beginning and I think, oh yeah, I've got to listen to it more. But I like something about it. I don't. I don't like this. I just don't like the feel of it. I don't like any anything about it. I appreciate the band for what they've given to rock and metal. That's, that's what I can say. I'm not having to go at the band. It just doesn't fit with what I like. Here we go for the rest. <laughs>
one thing I should say about the song itself, the chorus is, you know, quite catchy. It's, you know, that, I mean, that is one thing they have done, is they've written a catchy chorus. But the whole feel, the, the whole feel of the song is just not in my wheelhouse whatsoever. But that's not, that's okay. That's okay. Like I said, the band's world won't change. My world won't change. The fans' uh, world won't change because I said that. Because I'm only a small little, you know, drop in the ocean YouTube channel. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, it's nothing. But I hate being negative. But man, they're, they're big enough to say that I don't like the song. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's it. As, as far as I'm concerned. Just, I, I can't really comment any more than that. Is It just doesn't fit with me. Love the video, by the way. I thought it was very cool. I'm a big video game well, I was a big fan of video games and I played a lot of horror games resident evil stuff and stuff like that so when I watched the video that made me you know that was quite cool but the song itself was what we're really here for not for me anyway guys let me know what you think you can have a go at me in the comments below if you like but it's only opinion it's only opinion that's all it is let me know though in the comments below and I'll see you soon